I look at this group almost like pioneers. This is the very first time I think yes. that we are doing a training of trainers. I had a discussion with uh, Steve in uh, Philadelphia and said what we need is that any SRC comes this time with one sole purpose that they are going to work themselves out of existence as far as America is concerned. <laughs> Not out of friendship, <laughs> because the friendship <laughs> remains. So the goal is to help build a training organization in Africa that can help scale uh, the needs for the rapidly growing national research education network environments. There are a number of RENs and rapid build out happening right now in part because of the European Commission's Africa Connect initiative. So there's a great desire to have more localized training capacity. We were asked if we could help transfer some elements of the NSRC model in capacity building and developing network engineering expertise. I work for Tanzania Network Information Center, which is the registry for the keys and domain names. And our job is to maintain the, the domain names and, uh, and the registry. And uh, one of the big challenges that we have in our region is the maintenance of the domain names. Uh, some universities that are coming are uh, trying to register domains with us, but uh, the management of the DNS is a problem to them. So we go away a step forward to try and uh, help them uh, um, um, configure their domain names to work correctly and to work properly. Our plan has been to bring a group of trainers over to Rwanda that we have at the NSRC and also to bring in a bunch of Mac Mini uh, equipment, computers, a bunch of network equipment, some switches, some access points to help teach a group of students from Eastern Africa who are all members of various NRENs in various African countries. And the idea is to teach them how to put all this together to build what we call our Mac Mini virtualization platform. And the idea behind this is that you can teach workshops much more simply and with less effort if you have this platform in place because you no longer need to build an entire workshop full of machines and install equipment and install operating systems and set up networks. It's all completely contained and then all you need is for your students to bring laptops and then you can bring and teach various subjects just using this platform. So basically um, it has a lot of impact and uh, engineers who didn't have anywhere to go and get this knowledge really want to come and uh, benefit from these trainings. What's been very exciting is watching them teach during the week because we've had our students teach topics and it just looks like a really fun group and I think it's going to be pretty successful. Four is it? Uh, one, two, three, four. Two name. Yes. Is there zero? No, there's no zero. <laughs> <laughs> zero, you just said Sapani na Muchimo. So meaning that it's, there's nothing. Okay. We focused heavily on building up the capacity of teaching skills, course methodology, as well as running virtualized or real network training platforms. And really the underlying motivation here is, is so that we can get more critical mass of network engineers working in the region to help cultivate a more vibrant internet ecosystem. And there are also some who maybe don't have the prerequisite knowledge of what you're teaching, so you always have to start with a crash course. Yeah. We were taught how to be able to plan lessons and actually deliver the knowledge to the uh, training. So that's quite very, very helpful. And since we have a training program at Kennedy where we teach them a number of NOC tools, how to manage, and also we teach them ab about how to design their campus network. So I believe this particular uh, tools we've received would go a long way for us to be able to actually run the training in a much easier and simplified way than what we were doing before where we used to go with a, a huge number of equipment to just run the training. Yeah, I was really excited that a small mm -hmm. box, yeah. like my Mac Mini could do all those things mm -hmm. and that I can pick this stuff up, put it in my handbag, I don't even need a backpack, I'm putting my handbag yeah, yeah. and go and have a whole training mm -hmm. somewhere okay. and I can do it just like that. Um, uh, with the training kids, uh, I would say this is an amazing transformation from the traditional way that we were doing to train people. The kids will uh, really help us in terms of uh, reducing the amount of uh, hardware that we would like to use to train um, a class of engineers. But th these are lightweight and small kits that uh, we can be carrying around 
and move from one place to another to be able to pass this knowledge to so many people. And we've also been working on how to plan a workshop, how to figure out what your constituency actually needs, you know, to ask the people what it is they need, such as network monitoring and management, system administration, layer two switching, layer three routing, campus network design, uh, network security, system security. And so our goal has been sort of to impart some of our experience from the past on how you go about doing this. Actually, from the last training I did in August, I stole a number, borrowed a number of materials from the AFNOG and the NSRC workshop trainings. <laughs> yeah. So I did have to spend um, hours doing PowerPoint presentations. So I just had a look at what you already have and just probably build on it. Or in most cases, it was perfectly OK the way it was. So I just used that to train. Yeah. yeah it's magical, right? It's very nice. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure students will be, you know, shocked to see uh, 30 routers running within a small little Mac Mini. Yeah. But that's where the magic is. Technology is magic, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting.